Hello everyone, today we are going to install Windows 3.1 on VMware. If you're not familiar with VMware, VMware is basically a virtual machine and a virtual machine is a program where you can emulate uh, an, an operating system such as Windows 10, Windows XP, uh, Linux distributions, um, maybe Mac OS. I tried Mac OS on a and I always failed. Um, you can always use the Hackintosh, uh, which is basically a clone version of a um, of Mac OS. Now, anyway, uh, so what you want to do is, of course, open up VMware, and then go to Home, and then create a new virtual machine. Now you want to go to I will install the operating system later. Click next and then uh, choose Microsoft Windows version Windows 3.1 and here you have a selection of what operating system uh, you want to use and then it should be all the way down to the very bottom. Then you want to press next. Uh, you can name it uh, uh, whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Bob. Just a uh, reference to, well, Microsoft uh, Bob, uh, which was quickly discontinued. Now you want to go to customize hardware and change this to uh, eight megabytes. Now, the reason you want to change it to 8 megabytes is because if you have it to set to 16 megabytes, it's gonna load the operating system slow. And if you have it to 32 megabytes, it's not even going to load at all. Uh, well, at least for me. Uh, you can try it uh, and see how it works for you. Now, you don't want to close out of this just yet. Uh, what you want to do is go to Add. Select Floppy Drive and uh, press Finish. And then uh, use Floppy Image File and then uh, wherever you have saved uh, Windows and MS-DOS, you, uh, uh, you also need MS-DOS to actually have Windows 3.1 running. Uh, I'll have uh, links to everything down uh, down in the description, so you don't have to go scour the internet too much. So you want to go to browse, and here, okay, here I was uh, just trying to test out uh, uh, drivers. Uh, going back here, okay, and then Windows three. Uh, sorry, go to the DOS files and then uh, use the first diskette image and then press close and now and now you want to press finish so here you have uh, Bob is created and now what you can do is play virtual machine I'm gonna uh, put this into full screen click yes and then just kind of wait until it's, it does its job and then here you have the setup now you want to press uh, enter and then configure unallocated disk disk, disk space I, I swear I can't speak today for some reason anyway now once it's uh, now it's just uh, formatting the C drive and it will later on ask you if you want to uh, change the time and date, the keyboard layout, and the region that, uh, that you're in. Of course, you can leave it as is. It's, it's going to be set to uh, United States, as you can see here. I'm going to change the country, though. I'm going to make it Switzerland, because why not? Um, and then the settings are correct. and press enter then uh, you can press enter again now what you want to do is uh, go out of the virtual machine how you do it is you press control and alt 
and then you have your cursor. Now you want to go up to player, removable devices, uh, floppy, and then settings. And then you want to click browse and then add in the second image. And you basically just repeat the process with this. And then press pressing control alt to go out of the machine. Go to player, removable devices, floppy, settings. Uh, go to browse, uh, third diskette image, and then press enter again. And now what you want to do is press control alt to go out of the machine, removable devices, settings, and what you want to do is uncheck, uh, you, you want to uncheck uh, both of these. Uh, and then go back into the machine and then press enter. And then press enter again. And now as you can see it's starting MS-DOS and it's checking the HIMEM, uh, uh, well testing the HIMEM extended memory. Oh, sorry, the HIMEM is testing the extended memory. And now as you can see here uh, you want to press Ctrl and Alt, go to Player, Removable Devices, Floppy, Settings, and then wherever you have saved Windows 3.1 uh, diskette images, uh, you just go to to that folder and you well enter the first diskette image, and then uh, hit OK. And now what you want to do here is you want to type in a col uh, colon and uh, forward slash. I forgot to turn it on. Wait, uh, one second. Connect. Okay. You, you want to make sure that it's turned on. And uh, I'm going to hit uh, uh, R to retry. And now you can see that, uh, that MS-DOS is reading from the floppy drive. How do I know it's from the floppy drive? With computers, uh, A and B is always set uh, set for floppy drives. And well, because I've hit, uh, well, typed in uh, A colon four slash, it's, it's reading from the floppy drive. Anyway, uh, now you want to type in setup. And then you have the window setup. And then you all you want to do is just press enter. If you want to do a custom setup, you can. Uh, I'm going to do an express setup. Now I want to uh, change into the scan number two. And then go basically do the exact same as you were doing with MS-DOS installation. And then just going to, you know, Repeat the process until you're finished. Uh, okay, disk image three, and then press enter again. Now you got the actual window set up. Uh, now here you, you can do whatever you can type in your name. I'm just gonna do Badger. Yeah, there we go. And then uh, uh, company is uh, Joe Mama. And then hit continue. Now, basically, do the exact same process. It's it's gonna take it's it's gonna take you a while. It is annoying to go over and back, but. I've done this so many times that I don't really care much about how annoying it is. Okay, and then hit continue. Uh, go back into removable devices, floppy settings, the scan number six now. And then uh, hit continue. Okay, so now what you want to do is uh, well, 
you don't have a printer attached, so just click install uh, to no printer. Well, select no printer attached and then install. Uh, this is okay. You don't need to change anything unless uh, you have none of the above. But yeah, here you should leave it as is. Now you can here you can uh, run the tutorial if you want to. And uh, here, as you can see, well, basically, uh, well, it's, uh, oh, okay, wait. Yeah, it, it basically teaches you how to use a mouse. I'm just going to uh, escape and then press Y. And now I want to uh, reboot. I also forgot I need to remove the floppy. And then press any key. So now it's starting MS DOS. I'm MS testing extended memory. But once once it's finished testing the extended memory, it will uh, show C drive again. And well, basically, what you want to do now is type in Win. And there you have it. You have successfully loaded in. Uh, Windows 3.1 if you have followed the tutorial, of course um, Yeah, okay, so as you can see It's a bit slow Now the reason uh, the reason for this is because of the uh, Drive because the drivers have haven't been installed with the computer uh, well with uh, for the virtual machine I will do a, a video later on that. It's it's actually an e e easy uh, thing to do, and I will also uh, do a setup of uh, Microsoft Office 4.3, I, I believe it is, and uh, yeah, I, I will just take you through what you can do with Windows 3.1. So yeah, basically you gotta. I'm just gonna close out of this and then. You have, uh, well, five folders, basically. Well, the main applications is what you uh, open up with. And then you, uh, I'm going to close that. And then applications, you got Microsoft QBasic, Smartmon, uh, and, uh, M-Wave, uh, and, and stuff like that. And then you got MS-DOS Editor. And then go to Startup. Startup has an, no applications. One thing I actually like about it is that I'm going to go to accessor accessories real quick. And uh, as you can see, there's, well, there's a few apps. For, for example, you got Clock. I'm going to move this to Startup. Uh, and then close the accessories folder. Now, I'm going to go out and, uh, oh, I'm going to go out of the... Uh, the virtual machine and then restart guest yeah and then click and click yes and then I'm just gonna wait for uh, well MS DOS to do its thing as as usual and uh, one, once it's finished I'm just gonna go back into the system okay and uh, now oh, I forgot to actually uh, enter the virtual machine. Uh, now uh, gonna type in win, and then he, and then on startup the clock shows up, which is, in my opinion, really cool. I'm gonna set it to analog because I just like the look of the analog more than the digital. I don't know, it's just bland with the uh, with the digital. Uh, anyway. I'm gonna go back here, uh, close out of this, and then go to uh, games, and then well, you got Minesweeper, and then just oh okay, never mind. Uh, and then you got Salter. I'm not gonna play Salter, not in the mood right now. Uh, I've okay. Then uh, you know you got 
the control panel and then here's a really cool thing that i really like about windows 3.1 is that you can actually choose what color is for example the uh what do you call it the the, uh, the active title bar and then you know i can just switch to whatever color i want uh, i can always change how uh, dark the color is and then like close out of this yeah th i actually i actually quite like this and then what um change the desktop color to uh like a light yellow type of uh type of color now here i can also uh, do this but i'm also going to change the shade of it and then add color again and then close out of that and then choose this and then i and then i actually uh, and then it actually looks really nice and then what well, the button and then you got like the shadows where i can just uh, not do that. Uh, I can actually make. Yeah, okay. That that, that actually looks a bit better. And uh, when. Okay, and then. Okay, that's never mind. And then I can go to highlight the uh, color. Oh, that's uh, the text. Never mind. Uh, uh, Okay, and the highlights I can change, maybe not to that color. Uh, that's a bit too dark. That's gray. Yeah, I really, I would have to do. Okay, th this uh, this actually looks a bit better. Anyway, um, now the inactive. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And okay, and then hit okay, and now you can see. Well, it's it's a bit slow, but yeah, it's it it'll do the job so far for me. I mean, I already have Windows three point one uh, installed. Actually, it's not really the proper uh, Windows three point one. It's actually uh, Windows three point one for uh, work groups, but it's basically the same thing. There's not much difference. So yeah, uh, and because there are no sound drivers, I can't uh, listen to uh, music. Like I can go to media player, and then it'll I'll get prompted with uh, there there are no MCI drivers installed uh, on your system. Use the drivers option in control panel to install MCI driver device drivers. I'm just gonna hit OK, but yeah. Uh, that's about everything with uh, Windows 3.1. I, I will make a later video on how to install the drivers for Windows 3.1. And uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, you can always leave a dislike. Uh, subs uh, as I said, subscribe to the channel if you want to uh, watch more of my videos uh comment on what you thought of the video uh therefore i can just improve on what i do uh in terms of i don't know like if you thought my microphone was bad uh inform me and i'll just uh, try to adjust it better and um if you have any ideas what to do next uh, for a later video comment down in the description um not in the description in the comment section apologies and if you want to you can share this video with your friends and family it would be greatly appreciated so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video